So I would say that my main role model always will be my mum. It's really hard to describe why I think you just have to meet her. She's this incredible, dynamic, confident, forward-thinking, visionary and encouraging woman. She was a head teacher for 40 years. At my mum's very recent retirement party, um, there were over a thousand people there and they were queuing for about four hours just to say thank you to her because she had encouraged and supported a whole generation of young people in our local community. You know, whenever I'm asked um, about being a classical composer, which is probably unusual for me, a woman from a minority background, and I just say, well, you know, if you meet my mother, you'd understand because she makes anyone think that anyone can do anything. I'm Hannah Kendall and I'm a composer. So this morning was really exciting because um, for the first time I got to hear Baptistry, which is my brand new piece for the Philharmonia. I'm feeling really great about it, mostly because it sounds like how I expected, which is always a bonus. Um, it's always quite a daunting prospect because obviously you've never heard it before and the orchestra were just on such top form and the piece was sounding really bright and vibrant and energetic, which is exactly how I planned it. <laughs> The next performance of Baptistry at the Three Choirs Festival I know already will be brilliant, mostly because well, the orchestra is fantastic and they'll have the opportunity to play it again. It's, it's quite unusual for um, that to happen for new pieces. Um, you usually have to wait two or three years. To have the work performed again just a couple of months later is such an exciting prospect for me and um, I hope the players will enjoy that as well. Baptistry is inspired by this really cool painting by Sam Gilliam, who is an American artist um, who's currently based in Washington, D.C. When the Newbury Spring Festival asked me to write a piece uh, to open their 40th year anniversary, they were looking for something really exciting and bright and energetic. And I came across this painting and it just encapsulates all of those um, aspects. So it's incredibly colourful, it's bright and conjures up such um, evocative ideas, almost musical ideas, even just looking at it. And so um, I was really captivated by it. And, and I liked that the title was Baptistry, which sort of signifies newness, regrowth and regeneration, which um, is obviously um, what spring is all about. The piece starts really jazzy and funky, and that's sort of the main um, theme that goes through the whole piece. It's mostly always led by the brass, um, which is really cool. <laughs> start a new piece I usually almost always start with the title so I know what I'm referring back to so with baptistry by having that in the forefront of my mind I am looking for a harmonic structure that represents that idea I'm looking for sounds that also support the title of the piece so I find that really useful 
once I have the title, I always start off with a graphic score, which is just using shapes and images to describe what will happen at any given moment within the piece. So I find it a really useful plan to have before the harmony, before any note, so that I'm not bogged down with deciding what those might be. So once I have the graphic score, I then um, plot out the, the harmonic structure, and I do that quite intuitively. So I'll sit at the piano and I'll just decide um, which chords I'll want from one moment to the next. And then eventually I gradually build it up by adding some notes, so writing it for the piano first, and then for orchestra, I'll end up orchestrating it, so deciding which notes are played by which instruments. Growing up in London was fantastic. I love this city and I just feel like it's almost a privilege to live here because of all the different cultures um, that come together here. You know, growing up in Wembley, which has a huge um, Asian population, living in a house that was next to a community centre, and I would hear um, tabla drum practising at least three or four times a week. You know, growing up when um, UK Garage was, um, you know, just sort of, budding and coming about and, and UK grime as well and going out and dancing to that sort of music and, and still going out and dancing to that music as well I think really shapes um, the music that I enjoy listening to and um, really shapes the music that I write as well. At the same time I'm really drawn to lyricism as well and I always sang um, so I always sang in choirs growing up and then I later trained as a singer and so I think getting across rhythm and lyricism is um, sort of the fundamentals of the music that I'm writing I think. I love teaching um, and I work at Junior Academy and so I have the privilege of not only teaching composition but teaching general musicianship which every single student at Junior Academy has to do and so there's a team of us who um, get to have that really important artistic connection with a whole body of young people. I see it as a responsibility really, you know, help shape the minds of the future, the next generation of musicians. What I try and get across to my students is encouraging them to become unique artists. Everyone who goes to these institutions, they're incredible musicians. They are fantastic technically, really good writers, wonderful performers. But I try and encourage them to think and to find what it is that they want to say through the music that they're either writing or performing and how they're adding that to the world, how what they're doing is relevant to a group of people. You know, we have to, you know, just make sure that this incredible music that's been written is getting to the widest possible audience and so that's what I try and encourage in them.